Hi, Cyrus here, back on the Distance Incremental video, episode 11, and I have reached Infinity for the sixth time, which means new Infinity upgrades. And I may not have enough knowledge to get all of them, yeah, the, the last one is E9 knowledge. So let let's see. Um, this one I can get. Scaled tier scaling is 20% weaker, and it's only 1E7, so I probably should get that. This one is Dark Flow is twice as fast. Again, I'm, I'm, none of these seem to be, re be repealing anything, at least none of the ones here. So I should get that. And then this one is 2.5E7. This is gain 10% of life essence gain every second. That's yeah, it's another good one. So the upgrades here, um, there is some 1E8 knowledge ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get them. My base knowledge again is 384, and I'm getting about, it looks like about 25,000 every second. So, um, this is pathogen upgrades are 5% stronger, or super scale rank scaling is 5% weaker. I think the pathogen upgrades stronger is better than, better than just the scaling is weaker. So, yeah, I should probably just get these upgrades because, um, yeah, this is, this is essentially the most active part, and... I mean, I could automate it, but I think it's better for this to be active because if I, if I get the upgrades like right away, it's a lot slower than if I was to do it like this. So I'm, I've already unlocked the dark circle after like 30 seconds and you can see I can, I can already start getting like a ton of these upgrades and this is, this is just so OP. Like I'm already up to 3000 pathogens every second. And once I think once I really start getting everything here, you can just you can just see already see how overpowered this is because like even with just like this, this is completely OP. And now like I'm starting to gain more and more knowledge every second to the to the point where I can probably reach E8 knowledge in like um, just like 15 minutes or I, at this rate it would take about 20 minutes to reach E8 knowledge from zero. So, yeah, that means it would probably only take t like maybe 15 from this amount of knowledge. So, yeah, I probably just just keep getting pathogen upgrades, trying to boost pathogen gain and of course get these upgrades. Yeah, I can get, I can get so many of them right now that it's it's so in, it, it, this is insane. Like seriously, I I can get so many upgrades and I'm just getting a ton of pathogens every second. To the point where, like, let, let's see. Sometimes I like to go here just to see how, yeah, this is faster than it's ever been. I'm getting, like, four orders of magnitude of universes every second. And I need E599 universes to be endorsed again. So, every um, infinity, or every endorsement, this goes up. It seems like, it It feels like it's 2 to the n times n, or something like that. Yeah, I think it's 2 to the n times n, which is... Um, F sub 2 of n in the fast growing hierarchy. So you can see like 2 to the 6th is 64, and then times 6 would be 384. So yeah, just a, just a little bit of trivia there. And yeah, these upgrades are now cheaper probably because um, the, the, the scaling of their cost has been weakened. So yeah, I can probably, I can get both of these in this and these are cheap, so I'll, I'll get them. And at this point, I'm probably yeah, I'm, I'm now getting really close to E599 universes. Or it's I'm not all that close, but I, I'm getting like closer and closer. And now you can see how much knowledge I'm gaining. At this rate, it would take maybe about 10 minutes, or even less than 10 minutes, more like five minutes to reach E8 knowledge. So yeah, you can just you can just see. How OP this is. I'm also up to 27 Dark Core, which is a record. And up to a billion pathogens. And I don't think I've ever gotten to a billion pathogens. But, yeah, you can just see. I'm not even sure if I should get the boost pathogen gain upgrade. I, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. It's Actually, no. I, I think I should wait a little bit. And you notice that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the pathogen upgrades are soft-capped. And I'm guessing the rest are soon to follow. So, um, yeah. Um, let, let's see. It's I should probably make this one. This one's still not soft cap somehow. So, um, yeah. And I should probably get these 1E9. This one still isn't soft capped. It's 
I, I really think it will be soft capped soon. Let's see how many time cubes I have. I have over E308 time cubes. I nearly have as many time cubes as distance. And this, you can see this distance is going up a little bit slower, except I think I just got a super scaled rank. And maybe even a tier. So, um, yeah, that's that's a nice burst of speed. And let's see if th this one, even this one's get gets soft capped. D does, does this one get soft capped? I, I'm just buying them because I'm curious if they get soft capped. Um, this one doesn't seem to get soft capped. Um, E-592, 593, 594. Let's, let's just see what the knowledge I have is. It's not quite enough for E-8, but it's pretty good. And 599, and here is the seventh endorsement. So, yeah, these runs are all pretty similar because of the knowledge. Um, now with seven endorsements, the knowledge gain is 896. That's the base knowledge gain. So, and I, I know once I start getting pathogen upgrades, it'll be even faster. I, I think what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna um, cut out the, um, cut out everything until I actually get one of these upgrades. I'm probably gonna do an entire endorsement off camera. And I think after that endorsement, I'll be able to reach E8 knowledge so I can get uh, these upgrades and also I'm just gonna look at the rest of these upgrades it, it looks like the only upgrade that's gonna repeal anything is this last one which is knowledge and endorsements boost dark flow and it repeals both of these so I'm yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if this 5-5 is worth it but no no it doesn't repeal these it it repeals 4-1 and 5-1 oh and, and I'm guessing these are just... Are these both exactly the same thing? I see. So, it's actually it's actually still good to get because this 5.8 times boost is better than a 4 times boost from a doubling twice. So, yeah, I, 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 I will get that, but eventually. So, yeah, seeing a bit... Okay, I'm back. I'm still in the, in the 7th endorsement run, or at least I have 7 endorsements complete... And I now have enough knowledge to be able to get um, the pathogen upgrades are vibrant stronger and the super scale rank scaling is 5% weaker. I think the pathogen upgrades being stronger is a better choice. So I'm just going to get that. And like, I'm already getting more knowledge every second. So I, f I feel like I made at least, if it wasn't the better choice, it still was at least a good choice. So um, yeah, there's that. And then the other thing I noticed is that this achievement is having a magnitude above 100 for fuel bot. And the reward is Dark Flow affects pathogen gain, and it slows down after 50 times. Dark Flow is 215 times, which means a 50 times boost to pathogen gain. That that would be enormous. So I'm actually gonna um, upgrade this, and I can probably, boom, I I can get it. Like I go way over. So this means that yeah, I'm getting E11 pathogens every second, and um, I I feel like. Yeah, just instantly. I almost or nearly instantly I get to the next endorsement. So yeah, this is this is gonna be so OP because now the passenger gain is just so much faster that I I'm just gonna be I almost should collect max salt. It's like you can just see how fast it is. I'm I'm now getting Yeah, that achievement was so worth it. Maybe there's another achievement with amazing reward. Uh none of these three have rewards, and this is just ten endorsements. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm probably just gonna, I'm just gonna buy, I'm gonna actually buy Maxalt, and this is actually a faster thing. Is there any, can I press M? No, I can't. I can probably still press Enter on this, and that still works, but I may not even want to do that. I'm already up to E12 pathogens, and you can just see how much <laughs> distance that is. That, that achievement is truly OP. And I've, yeah, you can just see that endorsement took about no time. So, let's see, nine endorsements with, let's, let's see, I need E1031 universes. Base knowledge gain is 4608. I should probably just click max all and, yeah. I had 35 dark cores before I, um, yeah, b before I, um, reached infinity. So, yes, it's, it's amazing how quickly I'm getting pathogens. I can also get this, which is probably gonna, yeah, you can just... 
I'm, I'm guessing this is just means I'm gonna reach infinity. Yeah, look at this. I'm up, I'm already up to E900, and it's like I'm quickly gonna reach. Um, also, I just got another E3 with intelligence, and yeah, look at this. Look how quickly I'm gonna reach 10 endorsements here. This is insane, and this is gonna be. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the next episode because. It says, the High God Affinity has admired your prowess and would like to give you the ability to ascend this world and become a High God yourself. And it says, How allow Infinity to endorse you and turn you into a High God. So, I'm sorry if this episode was a bit short, but I wasn't expecting these last couple runs to be so quick. I was, I was expecting them to take like 5 to 10 minutes each. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed... Peace out.